everybody it's Sarah and um I'm doing this update of course my mom is messaging me so hey mom just a minute um I'm doing this update mostly for myself because um just so I can look back I guess like as Katie would say I'm, this is a note to future self um I started my pre-op diet, um, and, well, okay, okay, so I was going to start my pre-op diet yesterday, um, but then my roommate had pointed out that my surgery is two weeks from Thursday and yesterday was Wednesday and yesterday we went looking for a house because the house that I um, had posted the video to that fell through um, kind of a long story but everything happens for a reason um, so we went house hunting yesterday and we actually found a house yesterday that it, it's a brand new house it's just one year old it's amazing it is so gorgeous it's so pretty um it's in a really really nice neighborhood there's a park right there like two blocks away there's a dog park like a mile or two away so i'm going to take bailey there i'm so excited um so we were going to be house hunting yesterday and i was like no i this is going to be too hard to work out, especially on day one. I am going to wait and start the pre-op diet tomorrow, which is today. So I started it today. Um, so far it's not that bad. It's I'm nervous about stuff, so it's head hunger. But, um, like I said, this past week I've been eating like crazy. And... Just realizing a lot of stuff about myself, and that it's, it's a lot of stuff that I it's kind of bothering me about myself, about my eating habits, and about um, my way of thinking, and you know, stuff like that. And this past week, I went to all my favorite restaurants. <laughs> In fact, I'll, I'll post what I thought was going to be my last dinner. I took a picture just so I would uh, have a future reference. Um, but I got on the scale yesterday, and within one week, and this is so embarrassing, I can't believe I'm actually going to say this, but within one week, I had gained eight pounds. <laughs> eight pounds. I've lost 16 total. I gained back in one week half of the weight that I've lost. So, um, yesterday we went house hunting, we found a house, we actually had a celebration dinner, um, which of course I was thinking, okay, this is going to be my last dinner. So, um, I ate till I was just extremely overly full and I realized I'm not going to miss that. I'm not going to miss that. I was so disgusted in myself, and I still am, like, I can't, eight pounds, eight pounds, I mean, of course, my two-week pre-op diet, I'm going to lose the weight, you know, I'm, I'm not worried about that, it's just, realizing how much control I let food have over my body, my roommate's awake, so, <laughs> um, it really bothered me, hey, Okay. Okay, I had to relocate. I'm sorry. Um, so, what I was saying was, I, I'm not going to miss that. I'm not going to miss that disgusting, full feeling of, oh my God, like. Because. I mean, like, I've never realized until this week exactly, like, 
how much hold and how much control food has over my life. And I think a lot of it was kind of amplified because, you know, I'm thinking, of course, you know, everyone who's post-op went through this. Um, but I'm thinking, oh my god, I'm never going to be able to have this again. I'm never going to be able to have this again. I'm never going to be able to have this again. And I, um, it's, it's scary thought, but at the same time, you know, it's really exciting because I want so badly just to hurry up and start this new healthy lifestyle. And, you know, like knowing that <clears throat> I gained eight pounds in one week, like granted, you know, I think it is partially, I think it's about to be that time of the month. I haven't been keeping track lately because it's just been so crazy. Um, you know, I had salty Chinese food the night before I weighed, and I don't think I'd been drinking as much water as I should have, so all those things could factor into it, but still, I mean, I'm sure it, that's not eight pounds of water weight. You know, like, I know it couldn't have been. Um, so it's just, it's, I'm really disappointed in myself and disgusted with myself, and... I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm so ready for this change. Like, this is really emotional time for me right now, so I'm really I'm trying not to cry because I cry in all my freaking videos, it seems like. So I'm sorry for that, but, um, I'm ready for this change, and it's so cool because, you know, like I've said in one of my other videos, it's like when you get the surgery before surgery, you know, like, there's chapters in your life, and before surgery, that's not like a chapter. Getting surgery is not a chapter. That's that's like a whole volume two to your book that you call life. You know, and um, it's just so crazy because, you know, like last week, couple weeks ago, I thought my world was crashing down around me. I lost my job, my car broke down, you know, like I was scared about losing my insurance, you know, and, but everything is working out, everything is working out great, everything happens for a reason, and I've also, you know, started to reevaluate, like, my surroundings and my environment that I live in, and it's just, you know, you associate, you know, your environment with, um, habits and memories and, you know, thoughts of the past, and if I'm getting the surgery, and I'm moving on to volume two, I don't want my past, you know, I don't want to have those, like, daily reminders of, you know, sitting on the couch just chowing down on pizza with my friend, you know, I mean, I want to remember that because I want to remember the disgusting feeling that I had afterwards, and... So I want to remember it, but I want to remember the negative things about it. And, you know, I know I'm still going to be able to eat after surgery. I mean, I'm not going to be able to eat the large amounts, and I'm not going to be able to eat some of the stuff. But you know what? It's, I mean, like our do-over, you know, um, Beth was saying that you're not going to want to. And, and that's what I'm still looking forward to. So when I woke up today, yesterday being like completely and utterly full from Mexican food and gaining eight pounds, you know, and I woke up today and I was so ready for this pre-op diet. I mean, it's going to be hard. I know it's going to be hard. And a lot of it is mental hunger that I'm going to have to deal with and, you know, get a grip on. But... I'm not going to let the food win the battle this time. Like, I'm I'm going to do it. It's This is my battle. <laughs> I'm just glad I was able to come to the realization. I said I wasn't going to cry. Oh my god. I'm such a dork. <laughs> I'm such an emotional dork. Um.